taken the south south is a very abstraction, but if you are uh, follow the other lessons through, you'll find that it has quite a lot of connotation and will reveal quite a number of things to you. The function of color is to bring people into attunement with the universal laws of creation. Color is, uh, in healing, is a very important thing. For various colors have a certain effect on various <laughs> parts of the body. Yellow, for instance, affects the midsection of the body. Blue has to do with the head, heart, and so forth. Blue, then, when uh, applied to the person's head, holds the spiritual uh, forces of the physical body together. And that will uh, bring about the uniting of these two bodies more securely. And thus eliminates all foreign vibration uh, from the physical action and thinking. These colors and the reason their uh, use is because each part of the body has a certain rate of vibration of its own. Due to the various different functions of the cells in the body of themselves of which they're composed of. Each color has a different rate of vibration, and this rate of vibration has to do with the healing of the individual. Now you say, but but you know what uh, is wrong with the individual not to heal it? Must you know where the trouble is? No. It is not necessary. Because the basic energy which enters will take on the nature of the sky into which it goes, and this way the vibration. Therefore, the cell itself is never destroyed, contrary to the teachings of some uh, biology and biochemistry. The cell structure itself is never, de never destroyed. Before. But the cell, the energy in the cell is expended and therefore becomes decreased. And this is the way we rebuild it by putting that energy into the vital body. Actually, we do not, when we apply healing energy, we do not put it in to the physical body at all. It goes into the spiritual body. Then, of course, pops up the question and says, well, if that's the case, then, uh, what happened to the perfect spiritual body? It hasn't changed a bit as far as the structure and form is concerned. But if the individual maltreats their body or malfeeds it, their physical, then it takes more energy from the spiritual body and consequently depletes the energy. But the form will not change. Thus, when we apply spiritual healing, we are, in reality, doing the same as the, the automobile man does to the battery. We're recharging the spiritual body. <coughs> and thus, the physical change immediately takes place, providing there isn't too much objection and too much denying of its existence, uh, and then if this is present, they may be healed, but it may be for only a short period of time. This is then up to the patient himself, whether he allows this to become a permanent thing or not. For you remember what Jesus said on the road, he said, take up thy bed and walk, go forth and sin no more lest thy sins return unto thee. So you see, this is man's own sin, not, not anything else. Uh, <clears throat> color plays a part in creation itself. This is why on the triangle there are different colors for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is not only because of the different levels of function and vibration, but because these certain colors are what makes the various forms manifest. 
In manifestation, the action takes place when the vibration and the color and the color are in the mind and the form is set. The form being that which is to be created. Then it is assumed, that is the form, then manifest. This is rather a long way around the mountain to say just simply that each object in creation is its certain color because of its rate of vibration and its density. Because there can be a dozen blues and they will all be different and all have a different reaction and many of them have effects on different parts of the body in different ways. So they, but they are still blue and some of them you couldn't tell with the human eye the difference between them. Denseness is another matter for all things are light just in different degrees of density. That is why the illumination is possible. For if your flesh body wasn't light to begin with, although the density, the densest form that exists, this action could not take place. For all things in creation are made to be just one thing. When one of these tries to, to be something else, you find a big mess, as there is with man. When, uh, when man tries to bring a, begin to bring himself to illumination, you can't do it for a long time as it is hard to get across the idea to them that their body is light and that everything else in creation is light also. To get to this point of understanding in uh, most cases takes place only after the full reality of it when we have once found the self and have had opened the doors of realization. When you are trying to bring people through realization, if you keep them in surroundings that have been blue, green, and yellow, or gold for, for the color scheme, it will bring illumination and realization on much faster. This is because these various colors have an action upon the spiritual and physical body and upon the mind. The blue acts on the mind and the green on the physical body and the yellow and gold on the spiritual body. <coughs> the action places placed upon the spiritual and the physical body is one of bringing them together and the action on the mind is one of releasing of the false patterns and the motivation for correct and creative pattern of creation. And it's interesting when I said that the green has to do with the physical body, you know, there's an old saying that says, well, that person is just green with it. You see, they're right down on the material plane with their envy. Very old colloquial term, but it fits very well, just the same. <coughs> color is also the basis of true alchemy. Using the color blue, one can uh, manifest things of a higher nature to a lower realm of vibration, such as those things which have to do with the atmosphere of the atom. And this is something that isn't used too much yet. To explain this, we must go into the nature of the atom and its electrical currents or, the, or poles in to its atmosphere, of which the first one goes from north to south, the second one from east to west, and the other two are the
counter actions are the first two. The other two are counter actions of the first two. There's a negative, there's a polar, negative polarities. When you bring, when you uh, bring the atmosphere down to a lower vibration, you make it denser. This is the principle on which you can make your own atmosphere non-penetrable. The reason the color blue has to do with uh, this is because it is the motivator of the mind, the releaser of the false patterns. When blue, that is the higher vibration, is the higher vibration of